will trust. Tails. Tails has been called by Wasim Akram, and head it is. Alec, what have you decided to do? Yeah, we've decided to have a bat. Looks a pretty good pitch. Yeah, good wicket. Uh, generally pretty good wickets here at the Oval. Hopefully it's full of runs and full of entertainment. So there is the rest of the world team. And a very talented side. Uh, Neil Johnson, the left-hander from Zimbabwe. And the captain, Alex Short, who's been in such good form in the NatWest uh, series. I think, I think the big concern about the Asian team is the, is the top four batsmen uh, pretty good. But then the batting is a little suspect. Neil Johnson is the batsman. And the Zimbabwean, who in fact has just announced that he's uh, retiring from international cricket to return to South Africa. His return for this match was a Macron's first delivery. And Dickey, perhaps a little bit rusty, doesn't signal the wide down the next side. Ball. Dropped it, dropped it, dropped it. Well, it's beautifully ball, that. I was saying how skillful and experienced that, that hits him on the wrist. That's poor. Such a good uh, slip fielder. Nine times out of ten... Uh, Azruddin would have hung, hung on to that. But first ball of over number six. And uh, went the wrong way. Went to his right, the ball passed into his, to his left. He may just have got a bounce off the, off the ground, which diverted the ball away from him, Prasad. First test match ever played in England. Was played oh. here. Oh, bowled again. Oh, he has, he's got a little nick. Tiny, tiny, faintest of Nick. No deviation. Well, he had found a thicker edge early on, and uh, Azruddin put it down. This time, very thin indeed, and Mongi knows he has it across him. Johnson always looking susceptible. He goes for seven. It's 16 for one. And there we go, another one. This time for Basim Akram. And the rest of the world lose their second wicket. And that angle, uh, just teasing Alex Stewart, enticing him into playing from the crease. Beautiful bowling. Alex Stewart now goes for five after facing 23 deliveries. And That's in the air, but safe. Little short arm jab from Nathan Astle. And that's going to be a welcome boundary. Ball's just dribbling away. And that was well more agricultural. <laughs> that's the way he plays. <laughs> oh, see, hit that. Down the ground. It's going to be Sack Lane. Oh, no. I thought he's going to get that for a moment. That's a lovely shot. And that's the problem, of course, of bowling now with the field in. No one out there at all. It's that empty white chair. Nathan Astle. Well, he didn't mean it to go there. He was playing across the line. Will we get four runs for it? Or will he? Well, just three. Pull back within the boundary by Jadeja. That comes through playing together. Well struck. Not too far away from square leg. He was... Within no uh, Westminster Abbey, Tower of Big Ben, rosy red cheeks of the little children. Lovely drive through the offside as well. Not on here, I think this is too much. That was a great shot. Saints gone for it again, hasn't quite got hold of it. And Cumbly takes the catch. So revenge for Chopra for that big six. The face just seems to close a little in his hands. And so he doesn't carry quite as sweetly and as far as he'd like because that's quite a way into what is the short boundary. 113 for three when he's feeling in the team. But also he's good at getting singles, his top is. Very good one-day cricketer. He knocks the ball into the gaps and two spinners on. Oh, a very good ball. Not ball rubbish trigger. like that, though, eh? That's a load of rubbish, is that? Yeah, well played, Nathan Astle, who uh, came in with the rest of the world in real trouble. Two off spinners now, which will mean he's likely to score more on the leg side. Oh, he's bowling. Not anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You see, he's such a clever bowler. It looks to me as if he's working that, you see, and it isn't. It's not an off spinner. It looks like an off spinner when you watch his fingers, but it ain't. And he's bowling with a straight on seamer. Yeah! Take on. Drive and held at short extra cover. Ramthorpe really struggling to get that one uh, on the ground hitting it in the air and straight to Muhammad Azruddin nicely picked up Chris Cairns and uh, just saying hello to his fellow New Zealander <laughs> just past Mongia that's a deliberate shot very good save down there by Aravinda da Silva not always the fastest mover in a cricket ground that's a typical Chris Cairns blow down the ground. Plenty of power, opened up his shoulders and national cricket. Oh! You know, what did 
that strike. And they just have come off the batsman's pad or even the keeper's pad. They'll come back for three. So this is a, a useful little period here for the rest of the world. Yeah, goes three now. That's a great shot. And Chris Cairns and Stuart Law, too, for that matter, have it in them. Catch it, they shout. Well, he didn't. And let's see what Dickey signals here. And he hit his glove more than him actually taking it. Yes, it went through rather more quickly than Mongia thought it would, I think. Well, from the left before. Well, that's skied in the air. And here comes Wassi Macram. Easily taken. And the dangerous Cairns. Well, he has to go down 18 runs to his name. It's 172 for six. This is how Chris Cairns did departed looking to hit through the midwicket region or over long on again i one would suspect here's one see macron well that was gentle in fact it was so gentle it rather surprised holyoke i think well here we'll have two little arrow devinder maybe not be uh, quite as sprightly as it might have been down there at third man a few years ago Fortunate there. Promising young cricketer for Surrey. He had the, he's had the despairing habit. He's to his angle. Just a little. His approach to the stumps. Shy at the stumps of Nyan Mongia. Missing it. Get his gloves off quite quickly, Nyan Mongia. That wasn't a problem. The problem was hitting the stumps. Way off target. That's beautifully bold. Saglan Mustak bowling that drifter once again from Saglan Mustak who bowled it uh, quite beautifully. Eyeing the onside boundary, the spin wasn't there. Oh! They'll not hit Saklan in I'm telling you, there's no chance. He might get one hit in, that's all. Forcing their 200. That's clever bowling from Wissing Makram. A slow delivery. Heat streak was. Uh, See, there's the Yorker, very full and straight. He just gets it to, oh, there should be a run out at the other end. No, no, wrong end. That's well run. <laughs> Not allowing any wit to the batsman. And that is the reason why he fired it uh, on that leg stump. And uh, this pair has run well. Three runs as a result of that stroke. Long way. Start. Start. He foxed the uh, bowler there, Sacklane. Very clever batting. That's it, back straight. Will it carry to uh, the fielder? Mohamed Azruddin making no mistake. Lapping it quite easily. Full. Fairly leg stumpish. Because you can defend that. It was a straightforward catch in the end. Once he bowled it short outside, off stump the previous ball, it got smacked for four. All the rest of the world, 2.18 for eight. Last ball of the innings coming up. be just a single for the batsman so Asia 11 doing well to restrict rest of the world to 219 for eight on a batting surface that looked pretty good for a tall score and he's also missing Sachin Tendulkar he's a, he's a quality batsman missing out of his lineup to chase that score I guess it was a struggling start and Johnson and Stewart really not being able to come to terms with this swing in the length of uh, Srinath and uh, Wasi Makram. And a good partnership between uh, Master Hussain and Net Nesto. I thought the bowling by Akram was excellent at the start and Trinity can see 33-30 uh, off the 10 overs and then Sacklane, I'm surprised he went for 45, a couple of poor deliveries but in between them. That's a wonderful batsman that we're going to see in the Asian side here chasing 220, there's one of them, Aravinda de Silva, beautiful player. He'll be opening up with Said Anwar, who I've seen uh, score runs here at the Oval before now, not least in the World Cup last summer, and also, of course, a chess match against England if they do it. Really settled in their seats in the commentary box, Ramiz Raja and Tony Cozy. And uh, Courtney Walsh, a very familiar face to all viewers, I'm sure, all over the world. <laughs> Lofted over the top. And it's a short enough boundary that it's going to give uh, Neil Johnson a run for his money and beat him. Fine stroke. Will it go all the way? Be a couple here. Chase on 
for Alan Mulally. Over the top. Another goal. Another one. Just inside the rope. So three fours in the over from Aravinda. Overs, and they've got a wicket or two. Well, that's only just short of the length, you know. Look where it's gone. And he can drive, too. And this is where it's so hard for the bowlers. <coughs> well, look at that. Just short again, and enough width for Aravinda de Silva to latch onto it. And it's gone for four. Open it. He's going to affect uh, Anwar. No, it hasn't. He's clipped it away beautifully. I was just wondering whether it would affect him. Because he's used to scoring quickly as well. E. Four. Four, don't worry. That'll make it. That was cleverly played. You see, he used the pace of the ball. But that might be the answer. Well taken. Chris Cairns had about a long, long time for that. He's out there now for this reason. Side Anwar trying to flick Courtney Walsh away. And Chris Cairns waiting a long, long time for the ball to come back down to earth. And Courtney's pretty pleased about that. Vinda de Silva. Oh, well, shot. That's a wonderful stroke. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a cracker, wasn't it, Jonathan? I bet you never played one of them in the whole of your career. Dawson and then to assemble. Uh, far less difficult, and that looks like another fine shot. Just stopped just inside the boundary. And they'll get uh, two, maybe three. Yes, they're going to three for that. Well run. Vaughn, oh. Chris Cairns gets the wicket in his first over. And one an important one that is for the rest of the world. The crowd here would be disappointed that Aravinda is the silver's most attractive. And off the leading edge and a very comfortable return catch. So Chris Cairns strikes in his first over. Aravinda the silver goes for 35. It's 73 for two in the 17th over. The uh, figure you're looking at to do exactly what you want. flow of resources from the new development the new commercial facilities but I think when we have paid our expenses we will clear half a million lovely shot magnificently played back down the ground by Azradin lovely timing so now AJ Jajesha gets into the act two six a slower ball as well and that really is indication of when things aren't going very well for you Just yeah I think that was deliberately played I think when he got big on him Lovely stroke. no man out of the deep square boundary out oh, he's got a wicket and I wonder what difference that'll make it has a a faint little nick. But that's Great the place to ball, isn't it, though? You see, you've got to make him feel outside off stump. He can't ball too straight and give him his favourite shots on the leg side. And now they're 107 with three quarters of their batting out. Nine Longyear has come out at number five wearing a sleeveless sweater. Give him a super shot. That's uh, beautifully picked away. Innocuous looking delivery. What a catch. That is simply breathtaking. Musi Makram now walks in as a result of a breathtaking stunner catch at that point area. He's Ben Hollyoak there. What a catch. Diving to his left. CP in running hard. Musi Makram will uh, take two. So it's. Uh, uh, it's a healthy blow. We see Makram coming down the track. Now uh, that will run away to the boundary. Slow delivery. So he's thinking. And we see Makram is also thinking uh, because uh, that's a direct hit and uh, that could be curtains for Jadeja. That's a wonderfully fielded to the keepers in. Took the longer route and uh, spot on. 
Beware he streak. Such a strong throw. There's the evidence. There's Dickey. And there's the red light. Brilliant. Quite brilliant. Run out. Ajay Jadeja once again getting a start and uh, didn't flourish to the liking of the Asia level. So, Providing the Seam Akram with a little bit of width, and you just can't afford to do that because he's a very good player in that area. Well, the Indians are a regular member for them. Well, that's uh, beautifully put away. A little bit uh, of width, the length, a little shot from Johnson, and uh, Nikhil Chopra enjoying that one. 39 one dares for uh, Nikhil Chopra. An average of 15.45. 61 being his best. Mm. Team knows he's got to get on with this now, but he's going to lose a strike unless they go for the second. Is it going to be tight? Oh, I suspect Dickie Bird. Yes, he's calling for the uh, third umpire. The throw coming in from Mullally. It wasn't a bad one. And let's see Alex Stewart now. Oh, he's well in. What's Dickie up to? Oh, that's a great shot. Well, oh, where's he suddenly pulled that from? Well, that just made up for the previous five deliveries that were all not ball. Where's done the ball much good? I don't think either. Went a long way up. Had height and distance. Oh, he's bowled him! Off the inside edge, and that might be crucial. Down into the third man region. Just looking for a single. Off the bottom of the bat. Bottom edge, really. Did press didn't bounce as high as he thought it would have. It's 161 for six. Oh, he's dropped it. Chopra's on strike. He's got to do something. Not a bad start. And that's Mullally down there using his footwork. And they've taken two. Didn't get enough back on the shot at all, Nikhil Chopra. Football time. That's what they want. Stepped away to leg. Took a risk, but you have to if you're going to win the game. Well, well, I don't know what that shout was about. It was missing leg stump easy. Keeping trying to kid the umpire. Going to miss leg stump and probably miss middle stump of the next set. Well, after 44 overs with six to go, perhaps two better batsmen lower in the order than. The Asia team has at the moment, however, a nice leg glance, very fine indeed. That'll be four. Expensive last over here from Courtney Walsh. Take a look that it went so fine. He's tried to play that down to third man. It went very fine past where there's a non-existent slip. In fact, the rest of the world had lost one more wicket as well. Got it right full into the block hole, but he got away from it. He did well, the Chopra got away from it and squeezed it out to the covers. Off. Astor making a hash of it and just managing to correct it in time. You've seen that happen a lot today. Oh. He did well in the end to get his left hand to it and stop it from going for a boundary. The captain. He's got it. Second attempt, and Chris Cairns holds on with great relief. Over because it's a full toss here, but there's only four runs come off the over, and he's actually got a vital wicket as well. Prize here, Sacklin Mushtak is coming as the new batsman on the dismissal of Nicole Chopra. Chance to wallop it for four, fine, but I think he's got to make sure he gets some back on it and runs. That's it. Go on, well done. Back up, yeah. But very good feel in there from long off. Oh, that's a crocker, isn't it? I just say, you don't often bowl many Yorkers. That's an absolute corker. And Alcombe, who has been up there for some time, done for 19. Close, maybe just pitched the outside, but uh, the dismissal was almost full toss. It hit the base of the stump, not on the batting crease, and it just offered to swing a touch with him. And that's a pretty good one too. Just perhaps pitching outside leg. Bowl him. Sackling goes. And now rest of the world have this match within their grip. 
Well, they're just perfect Yorkers, them right in. I don't know what Sacklin's doing trying to wallop a Yorker. He'd been better off just getting back on it, stopping it, and running a single. Because he's just giving your wicket away. Anything like in the blocker, you're not going to get it anywhere. You're going to hope when he bowls one offline, you can wallop it. Yorker again. Excellent bowling. All over. The rest of the world has won the cricketnext.com cup and uh, the invasion of the ground it's been a big crowd here a sellout at the oval Mulali and uh, chris cairns in the end proving the difference with their yorker bowling and there's uh, the proof of the pudding Mulali twice and cairns once hitting the stumps the last three wickets they're falling with uh, deliveries directly on the stumps superb performance by the rest of the world bowlers Courtney Walsh started really well, got roughed up towards the end in his last over one for 29. Mulally, three for 41, and Chris Cairns, three for 29, and they were the ones who were decisive in the final overs. First of all, I'd like to invite the losing captain, Mr. Wasim Akram, to come and receive his medal from Mr. John Major. It was a close game in the end, but uh, you must be disappointed. You were just a little thin in batting department today. Yeah, I think uh, we, were, we were short of one bats, and obviously Sachin didn't play today. It was a big drawback for us. But uh, overall, it was a great game, great day today, and everybody really enjoyed themselves today. And you looked to be in good rhythm. Uh, there was a little bit of hell for the fast bowlers initially. Yeah, I think Wicket was a little supporting towards uh, fast bowling, but again, spinners the clan Mushtaq and Kumble and Nikhil Chopra bowled really well today and got us back into the game. Okay, we'll see you all the best for future engagements. Thank you very much. We'll see you from there, ladies and gentlemen.